Welcome to the BCU Freshman Class. Over the next several videos, we'll be teaching you the most important building blocks of ham radio. This series is for those just getting into the hobby for the first time who might not know where to begin. We'll cover topics in broad terms you can understand so that you can start your ham radio journey on a stable foundation. Do you want to get into DMR but don't know where to start? It can be hard to figure out by yourself, so this first video is going to break down what you need to know to start using DMR today. We'll go over the most basic steps from defining what DMR actually is to registering your very own DMR ID. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome ham radio content. So without further ado, let's start talking about DMR. What is DMR? DMR stands for Digital Mobile Radio. Now if you're new to DMR and did a Google search on the topic, you might find that the Wikipedia page is a little dense. Think of that as your initiation into ham radio. There's a lot of terminology out there, but if you take your time and learn it carefully, it'll be one of the most rewarding experiences of your life. All you need to know for now is that DMR was first used over amateur radio VHF and UHF bands beginning around 2010. Each DMR user gets an ID, which is stored in a database managed by Radio ID Inc. If you want to use DMR, you'll need to go to radioid.net and register your own information to get your very own ID. Don't worry, it's a quick and free process that we've covered in previous videos. You can find a link to our Radio ID tutorial in the description for this video. Now something that makes DMR different from analog radio is how people make contact with each other. In a DMR network, you can actually communicate with people all around the world as long as you're near a hotspot. So let's talk about what that is. A DMR hotspot acts like a repeater connected to DMR networks. It's what connects you to the internet and allows you to tune into the channels that you selected when programming your radio. So to go over what we've talked about so far, to get on DMR, you need to have a unique DMR ID from radioid.net. Once you have that, you'll need a radio to communicate with a hotspot to connect your radio to the internet. Not so bad, right? But hold on, we mentioned something a moment ago about channels and programming the radio. That sounds complicated. Is it? Well, if you choose to program your radio on your own, it can be. To do this, you need to create or find a compatible code plug that you can upload to your radio. A code plug is a file that your radio reads from to know what frequencies it should be listening to. Manually entering this information takes time, so you have two options at this point. If you want to try programming your radio yourself, check out our video in the description where Dwayne in 6 dmr goes over each step in detail. If you would rather download the code plug and be done with it, you can find a list of up-to-date code plug files on our website at this link here. We've also put this in the video description for your convenience. At long last, you're ready to get on the air using DMR, but there's one last thing. If you've done all of the steps above, you still can't actually talk with other ham radio operators or hams until you've gotten your ham radio license. You still can listen in to whatever you like, but to legally transmit, you need to have a technician license first. We'll have a video coming soon that covers all you need to know so you can ace your exam. If you do already have your license and just need the means to get on the air, we invite you to check out our plug and play package at the link in the description. It's a radio and hotspot bundle that comes pre-programmed with your information. It's made for the ham who wants to get on the air with modern, reliable hardware without all the headaches of putting it together alone. Now, this video should give you a good starting point for your DMR journey. There's a lot to learn, but if there's one piece of advice we can give you, it's this. It's okay to ask for help. Some hams out there will argue that doing it all yourself is the only right way to learn. At Bridgecom Systems, we disagree. Helping others get into the hobby is a good thing. So if you find yourself struggling, feel free to call our support line at 816-532-8451. Our in-house tech team is more than happy to help you become a ham radio expert. Finally, thanks for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG73.